bit like trees. You know, if you get a fantastic oak tree and you try and move it and replant it, the chances are it might not take. Whereas if you start with an acorn and you plant it yourself and you look after it and you take care of it, it will turn into a fantastic oak tree one day. So I think it's more about having the, the long-term plan than the short-term fix. It's been tempting so many times, I've been in business nearly 27 years now, to try and get that short-term fix, to think about the fact that I might poach or something like that, but it never ever works because I always think if someone leaves their place of work to come and work for you, then the chances are they'll leave you one day as well. Whereas if you get them from fledglings, you can mould them and shake them and they know your way. Every time I've ever done something that hasn't been really true to the core of what I believe is right, it's never ever worked out. So it's easy to sort of be a bit splurge gun and look at what everyone else is trying to do and trying to take all those bits and make something that works for you. But really, the true path is always that strong path to ignore what everyone else does. And only take note of those that you're trying to compete against. And so that then rules out half of the splurge gun and you can really then be a bit more key in what, you're, what you want to embrace and what you want to discard. And I sort of get my inspiration from, from outside our trade really. I get it from if you're flying, an experience you get on a plane or something like that, or in a gym or in a club. Um, and I try and sort of be a bit like a sponge and absorb everything I can because it's all about the customer experience as we know, especially if your price point's high. Whenever I hear someone speak or I read about their successes, whether it's outside our trade or not, it's what they get wrong that shapes the path to their success. All those things that we've got wrong along the way is how we arrived at how we got it right. And we don't like to talk about when things go wrong. We like to talk about how successful we are, but you can't learn from that. You can only learn from what you get wrong. Our customers are so on it. They know about every new development in skincare, in hair care. So you've got to be one step in front of them, but you've also got to embrace what you think is right for your key clientele and discard the things that you don't think can work for them. You have to have that perfect mix, I suppose, of being very, very true to your core and not trying to sway off your path, but also to keep an eye out for what's going on. And so you have to embrace the new, you have to stay on top of um, what, your, what your client wants. Because if she doesn't get it from you, she's gonna go and get it from someone else. I have dealt with so many things in the last few years. Um, and I think the core thing that comes back to me again and again is, you have to get that perfect mix between your work life and your home life and doing something that makes you feel good and keeps you sane, whether it's exercising. For me, it's just yo yoga every day of my life. I have to do it. If I don't do it, I go crazy. Um, but having that right mix, because I think to be a good boss, to lead a team really well, you have to be in a good place yourself and to help them through.